Hey guys, uh, so welcome to a video talking about the new support for premium. So as you've seen, we've got a team shop push new segment for standard. I'm covering premium. So the thoughts that format I tend to play. Um, so we have two amazing things happening. One I'm really hyped about, and then obviously one thing that's uh, come up, as you probably have heard by now. Uh, premium uh, collection 2020 is been announced. Uh, we haven't seen any cards yet, but by the box art itself that we've gotten, we've got one like really big cray elemental, uh, which I'm personally really hyped about because, as you know, we have Gizeh, and Gizeh is very much this big boss uh, boss monster. We have now the progenitor dragons, which in a way is like um, the opposite, you know, the good versions of the Zelf dragons in a way of putting it. And so, because of that kind of thinking about it that what this you know cray element is going to be is going to be like the Gize kind of thing so it's probably going to work really well to progenitor dragons or something like that probably have some form of gimmick you know win con i suspect but yeah i am hyped i think they're going to be more sub clan support honest to god um i would personally love it to get like blaster support or something like that but that's what i mainly play uh, by the Royal Pardon one, it looks like Sanctuary Guard to me. And I've got no idea what the others look like from what we've seen. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. And you'll be getting um, updates from me on every single card that's announced when it's announced. But I'm really, really hyped. You have no idea, guys. And then, um, Majesty Lord Blaster, my boy, <laughs> he back. Okay, so if you guys uh, haven't heard yet, there is a, uh, like a legend deck kind of sort of thing that's uh, showing up, um, that's just called Magic or Blaster. You're going to get four of every single card, and why is this not in the, in the premium selection and not the standard? So, everyone else is saying um, that it's going to be a standard deck. Honest to God, looking into it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be. And the only reason being, and I'm, it's not much to go off, but it says specifically in where the information was, premium deck box. And I'm sorry, but when you say premium deck box, I'm starting to think it's going to be a premium deck. And I think they don't want to give Royal Pardon that kind of advantage of having Blast of Dark in the, in the deck. So technically, I mean, they could say, you know, you're going to run Blast of Dark if you run Magic or Blaster, which is fine. But again... You're still giving them the extra retire abilities and the on ride twin drive potentially. So I I wouldn't mind it personally. I would love to have be able to run Blaster Dark in um in standard as well. Um but yeah, I, I'm going off that. Um let's do a bit of a theory of a skill. So uh, if you don't know the original skill, let's Discover that the original skill was uh, plus two thousand power uh, and one critical. If you contain blaster blade and blaster dark and soul, and when the unit attacks, put blaster dark and blaster blade into the soul, get plus ten k. Um, I suspect what they'll what they'll do with magical blaster is that they'll probably say instead of, hey, you know. But instead of just saying something like, um, how can I put it? Instead of typically just saying like, uh, you know, put them into the soul, I suspect they'll just need them on the field. Um, because Royal Paladin have always been a bit more board presence. And obviously if you take, um, if you take, uh, what's it called? Um, Messianic Lord Blaster that gains power from all of them. You know, all six on the field. And I think they'll do something similar with Magic Lord Blaster, basically saying, hey, if you've got Blast of Day and Blast of Dark on the board, um, get uh, this gets you uh, 10k and two crit or something, I don't know, or plus one crit. Um, I don't think he'll make it like a go up to 15k. I think that it will keep its base at 13. I would love to see like a crossroad kind of thing. And the fact that it would be a 15k base, it would definitely help Royal Pardon with guarding. Um, it'd be a great, but then personally, I feel like they need to try and make it more of a finisher, um, kind of thing. Um, would be personally, I would add this is 
both Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark get an extra 10,000 power. So in a way, it's a bit like a cross between Gancelot and maybe like Mordred, like uh, or basically like the extra 10k boost, but mainly like Gancelot, uh, something like that. Uh, that's personally what I would do for Magic Lord Blaster, like give it some, like kind of try and support Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark, you know, give him play maybe some power or, or whatever. Um, there's not really much we can do for that though. It's it's. I'm quite curious to see how they'll um. How they're going to be, you know, crossing that. Um, this is saying I don't know if this is true, but I want to bring this in because I don't see people talk about it. I read and this was on a comment, so this is why I'm I'm taking it as a bit of a grain of salt. But I read somewhere that someone said that this deck is a series deck that's going to show up. Uh, in a new series Bushy Road are doing and apparently Emmy is going to be running it so um, yeah I'm I honestly thought that would be really cool if if it was her you know I thought it's going to be good but I think I do other than just you know talking about that a little bit I think I do need to mention this and this is the only part about it I'm not entirely sure about it's 8,800 yen that's about 80 bucks so for pounds Roughly seventy-five pound. That's a lot of money <laughs> for a deck, some sleeves, and a deck box. Um, I can't figure out why it's that much when legend decks um, were about twenty-five, thirty quid. You know, uh, for the Japanese ones, I have I paid about forty pound, so I paid half that. I'm not entirely sure why it's so much. We'll probably see. Maybe it's a bit of a... I don't know. Maybe there's going to be some intense matter. I think it actually might be limited and that's why it costs so much. I don't know. Will I be getting it? Yes. Will I, if it's if it's standard and premium, will I be getting both? Yes. <laughs> it, seriously, if it's, if it's... So if I'm wrong and it is both standard format and premium format, am I getting two? Yeah. Same premium, am I going to get one? Yes. Am I hyped? Yes, you have no idea. Like Magic or Blaster is one of my favorite units of all time, due to the fact of. Um, so just going to bring this in. I love the gimmicks of light and shadow because, um, like to kind of quote the chant from the anime, but Avatar of Light and Shadow, a new strength born out of compromise, right? Like the whole combination between light and shadow, you know, being equal. I love that entire concept, you know, with, um, with, um, like, anything, really. So, yeah, if you ever, like, yeah, if you ever, like, um, kind of interest in that kind of thing, yeah, mention it in the comments, like, let me know. Uh, but, yeah, there you go, guys. I was like, saying a, a bit of a rusty kind of news. I want, I want to keep you saying more. Um, I'm literally trying to, as you know, I'm trying to upload daily, and I may have been, because um, I went to the gym today, a bit busy, so I kind of almost forgot, so I'm kind of rushing this out. Um, apologies, might be a bit rushed, but yeah, uh, I'll give you coverage on all the Magic Store Blaster stuff and all the new cards as soon as they come out, because, you know, and I'll basically do a lot of deck theory crafting and trying to see what we can do with it. And, uh, I'm just gonna pretty much gonna end on that and please bring back Starfall Trumpeter. Just just saying guys. Please bring back Starfall Trumpeter. What a new version. Uh, anyway, uh see you guys.